I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta make the city move. Like, whoa. I make the city move. I got the move. So I just watched the Lakers versus Bucks, where the Lakers took home a big and important win, winning by 10 points and becoming the second team this season to clinch a playoff spot. However, this game has unfortunately further pushed the ridiculous narrative that LeBron James is the MVP this year over Giannis Antetokounmpo, which I completely disagree with, and I'll be going over why I think Giannis still deserves the award over LeBron in today's video. Before we begin, I do not think Giannis winning MVP is a unanimous decision as of right now, but I think it should be pretty obvious that he's the front runner and should win it. Also remember that the MVP is a regular season award, and please also be respectful in the comments below. This is my opinion, and if you disagree with it, feel free to debate with me in the comments below, just don't get personal with it. I'm only saying this as I know how ruthless you LeBron fans can get. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video or like the video similar to this on my channel, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more NBA content. But with that being said, let's get right into this. Lucas. Giannis Antetokounmpo is the MVP frontrunner to me right now, and it should be without question too. Giannis is averaging 30, 13, and 6 on great efficiency from the field this season. His three-point shot has taken a big leap as well, he's hitting them on a relatively consistent basis, and the only issue he's been having this season is his free throws, which is obviously a mental thing. If I'm being honest, I have never seen a player as unstoppable as Giannis when he gets going. So why are people suddenly trying to change the narrative and give LeBron all the praise? And before we begin this argument, I am not trying to hate on LeBron here whatsoever, and I'm not trying to criticize what he is doing currently or bring it down. I'm just trying to lift Giannis up and show how much better of a case he has for the MVP. Let's start as to why I believe Giannis should win the MVP by going over the three keys to win an MVP, winning, stats, and storyline. But the bottom line basically to me is being the best player on the best team. That is what wins an MVP award. First, let's look at the stats. Giannis has been consistently on fire the entire season, averaging rounded stats of 30, 13, and 6 in only 30 minutes per game. Whilst LeBron is averaging rounded stats of 25, 8, and 11 in 35 minutes per game. Now don't get me wrong, these are both great stat lines, but it is kind of unfair towards Giannis as he plays a lot less time. So if we make both of these players minutes equal with 36, we can actually see how much better Giannis is stats wise compared to LeBron. Per 36, Giannis averages 34.6 points per game, 16 rebounds and 6.7 assists, whilst LeBron averages 26, 11 and 8. So by looking at that on surface level, Giannis is superior in the stats category. But what about advanced stats? For box plus minus, Giannis beats out LeBron again with a BPM of 11.4 as LeBron has a BPM of 8.2. Also for future reference, Giannis has a higher usage rate of 37% to LeBron's 31%. Giannis also has a higher net rating of 16 to LeBron's 10. So, even in advanced stats, Giannis has the edge. So overall in stats, Giannis has the better ones compared to LeBron. The next category is regular season wins, which obviously right now, Giannis and the Bucks also lead LeBron and the Lakers over. The Bucks are currently 53 and 10 after today and are still on pace to win 70 games this season, a phenomenal feat whilst the Lakers are still an impressive 48-13 and, and are on pace to win around 64 or 65 games. Obviously, both players are on phenomenal teams, both having amazing seasons, but the Bucks are winning more than the Lakers, so yet again, Giannis leads LeBron in this category. The final key to winning an MVP, according to trends in NBA history, is the storyline. The media loves a good storyline to run with, and unfortunately for me, this is where my argument ends for Giannis for now. 
LeBron is obviously adored by the media and fans, which I will talk about in a bit, and is having a fantastic narrative created for him. As for Giannis, he doesn't really have one that stands out, so this one does go to LeBron. But there are more reasons as to why I believe Giannis is the MVP, not just the fact he beats out LeBron in the majority of the three keys to win the MVP according to NBA history. One thing that should be obvious is the lackluster team Giannis has compared to LeBron. LeBron has a superstar teammate who also happens to be in the MVP conversation himself in Anthony Davis, whilst Giannis's next best player is an extremely efficient all-star. That's not bad, but imagine Giannis with a superstar guard, like say, Curry or something. I'm just trying to be hypothetical here. That's essentially the vice versa of what LeBron has. He is the superstar guard and AD is the superstar forward. Giannis currently is the superstar forward for the Bucks, but he has no other superstar to pair up with him, making this season even more incredible. For those who don't get what I'm trying to say here, imagine this. Take LeBron off the Lakers. They still have Anthony Davis, a player who has taken a pretty horrible team to the playoffs before. Let's not act like he hasn't. Then take Giannis off of Milwaukee and it's Chris Middleton's team. Chris Middleton. Yeah, I don't think I have to say much else here. Answer to Kumpo has a worse team to me. Debate that in the comments all you want, but it's pretty obvious whose team is better and whose is worse. This lack of help does help Giannis' case even more, in my opinion. One thing though that goes heavily against Giannis in this MVP race is the amount of favoritism LeBron receives from major media outlets such as Bleacher Report. These media outlets love LeBron and the Lakers to the point where it's kind of ridiculous and they are basically trying to manipulate a big narrative to fans to get LeBron his fifth MVP. That's what it can feel like at times. Some days, all I'll ever see on my timeline is LeBron and Lakers highlights and perhaps get the occasional Giannis one if he played that day. But honestly, it's like a 50-50 ratio. 50% Lakers highlights, the other 50% is the rest of the league. Even today, when the Lakers played the Bucks, I literally looked at all the major media outlets on Twitter, such as Slam, Bleacher Report, ESPN, etc. And the ratio of Lakers to Bucks tweets was 24 to 5 at its simplest form. And yes, that's calculated and not made up. I spent about half an hour looking at all the tweets on these platforms from the last 24 hours, and that was the ratio. For every 24 posts on LeBron and the Lakers, there was only 5 on the Bucks and Giannis. And maybe some of that's due to the Lakers winning, but even during the game as well, all these media stations would just post Lakers highlights, and the Bucks would rarely get any, even if they deserved some spotlight for a fantastic play. This obviously helps LeBron in his case for MVP, as all the casual fan sees when scrolling through Twitter is a LeBron pass or dunk, or even just a regular three-point shot and this will lead them to believe that LeBron is this player 10 times superior than anyone else, which is obviously not the case. This bias is just very frustrating to me. One thing that annoys me though about this whole MVP race is how people, particularly LeBron fans, look at it. After today's game, everyone was saying, how does LeBron not win MVP from here? LeBron is the MVP. LeBron over Giannis, etc. But the thing is, this is just one game. One thing that the media have liked to do as of late is look over the rest of the season and focus on one game of an 82 game season. Like, this is just one game of many, and yes, LeBron played amazingly, but this does not make him the certified MVP over Giannis, especially considering the fact Giannis had a solid game himself. It wasn't amazing. They lost, but a 32 point game is a 32 point game, and he did everything he could. If we want to look at one game of the season, why don't we look at the game earlier this season, when Giannis and the Bucks blew out the Lakers in the first half, and the Lakers had to play catch up the rest of the game, as Giannis dropped 34. I just don't see 
how this game adds anything to the argument for LeBron to win MVP. And when looking at just one game, the context for the entire season just goes out the window. Another thing LeBron fans do is say, look at LeBron, he's doing all of this at age 35. No one else has done this before, so he deserves the award. First of all, this level of play has been done before by Kobe Bryant. The only difference is LeBron is winning. Also, age does not matter at all in an MVP race. LeBron dominating at age 35 does not mean he deserves to win MVP. LeBron dominating is a reason. His age is not. This is probably one of the more common reasons as to why LeBron should win MVP to many, but it's also one of the dumbest. So overall, this is why I believe Giannis Antetokounmpo is the 2020 NBA MVP over LeBron James. He is a better player statistically and his team wins more. If you say, what about today, then that's stupid because I can bring up the previous Lakers-Bucks game and in the context of the entire season, one game doesn't matter. Giannis has been on fire consistently the entire season, constantly dominating and putting on a show game after game, whilst LeBron hasn't really come out of his shell and dominated until recently. Don't get me wrong, he's been great this season overall but his insane scoring performances and games have really only been these last few weeks, not the entire season. The MVP of the Lakers in the first half of the season was Anthony Davis to me, and the second half belongs to LeBron. That does not beat out an entire season of dominance and potentially a 70-win season. At the end of the day, the most valuable player award typically goes to the best athlete on the best team over an entire season, and that's been the trend throughout NBA history. Right now, that is Giannis Antetokounmpo by a long way, and it is why I don't see LeBron getting the MVP. The stats, history, and current record back all these things up and prove to me why Giannis Antetokounmpo should be the clear MVP and perhaps the second ever to be a unanimous one in NBA history. But that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? Who is the NBA's MVP? Giannis, LeBron, or someone else? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.